sectioning for this cut is very simple. It's a rectangle on top of the head. We use the parietal ridge as a focus point and then straight across the center crown. And then I built a triangle off of that, which you can see that point of the triangle goes down to the occipital bone, which is where we're gonna start taking our first parting. So we take our first parting, slight diagonal forward, uh, just to kind of get that movement in the direction. Plus a diagonal parting is a lot easier to work with than a vertical, it's just more comfortable. So as I work across the head shape, I'm gonna be working in a slight diagonal forward, working straight out from the head. So the most part we're working 90 degrees straight out. Um, and then I, you could see that my finger kind of tucks its way down. I'm tucking my finger because the head shape is shifting that way. I want to keep it at 90 degrees. It keeps a nice seamless feel to the layering. And the only buildup of weight that's happening is right at that top occipital bone area, which is where the head shape starts to curve away. That's where you get that buildup of weight, which is great. We want a little bit of weight buildup in the crown area. So now I'm working with a traveling guy to work all the way around the head shape. No over directions really happening, it's just slightly back to the previous. The reason for that is I wanna create that nice seamless feel around the head shape and working those round layers. So everything's coming out, it's giving a very seamless feel, the weight's not being pushed or shifted anywhere, and this is gonna create a nice base platform for the top of the haircut that's gonna really be what this haircut's all about, is, is creating a symmetrical feel so that the haircut can work its way back and forth and you can wear it in a lot of different ways. So we just work our way all the way across. You can see it gets a little bit longer towards the front temple area. That's just a natural kind of uh, feel for me as I'm working around the head shape. I like to keep a little bit of length in the front. Uh, and now the biggest difference on the right hand side is that my fingers are pointed down. The reason I choose to point my fingers down is so that my combing stays consistent. As I worked the left hand side of the haircut, the entire time I was combing all of the new section, any parting I took, I took the new hair and I pushed it towards the guide. So I wanna do the same thing on the right hand side as well. So I take my parting and I comb the new hair towards the guideline. This keeps all of the weight distribution in your haircut consistent. A lot of people when they first start cutting hair, they end up with one side longer than the other. And a lot of the times this has nothing to do with necessarily losing your guide. It's just how you're combing the hair to the guide. And if you start pushing your guide away, then you start creating a shorter side of the haircut. And then one side end up, ends up longer than the other. So you wanna make sure that that consistency is in the combing. The combing is the hardest part of hair cutting. The cutting part is easy. So you wanna make sure that you stay consistent, keep the structure in there, take small sections, and work your way around the head. So we're just finishing up the side. You can see, I, I really want you to focus on how thick those sections are that I'm taking. I could rush it, I could grab all that hair and condense it and, and pull it all together, but what would happen is it would completely change the consistency of the shape. It would push a lot more weight forward. So what I'm doing is just grabbing half inch section by half inch section, working my way around the head and getting that consistent result. You can see naturally it's over directed back a little bit so we get a little bit of length. Now I'm gonna go through and cross check. Somebody said something on a uh, previous video, made a comment about cross checking, totally, uh, want to show this more often, show you guys what it's all about. So we went diagonal forward through the entire haircut. So now I'm gonna go diagonal back and just cross check it and make sure that the lengths are exactly where I want it. You shouldn't be cutting much when you cross check. If you go through and it looks like there's a lot of weight in one area, then go back through the way that you originally cut it, fix it, and then go back through and cross check it again. You can see as I cross check it, I'm just dusting the ends, not really changing too much in the haircut. Now I'm gonna do a flat wrap blow dry. What I like to do is just see the consistency in the weight because a lot of times when you see your hair wet, it's, it lies to you a little bit. It looks a lot better than uh, it does when it's dry. So I wanna make sure that the weight distribution is right. So I go through, I flat wrap it, blow it dry, and then I go in and cut the top. It's also a good technique because you're gonna blow dry the head anyways. So I blow dry it uh, nice and smooth. And now when I finish the top, all I have to do is blow dry the top. So you're kind of, you're uh, doing the steps a little bit different, but you're taking just as many steps as you go through it. So now I've got my Donald Scott twist. This is a really cool razor. It's got a 100% cutting side and a 25% cutting side. So if you wanna add texture to a haircut, you flip it and you can do uh, some texturizing. Right now I'm using the 100% car uh, carving side to go through and just cut. Now what makes this a versatile top and makes it so you can flip it back and forth is that we're gonna cut it, bring everything over directed to one side, cut it at the length that I want. So I grab a little bit of guideline from the opposite side, the underneath that I cut already. Um, and I do a heavy stroke with the razor, which gives me a lot of texture, a lot of movement and nice soft layers. 
over direct everything over to me and then I do the same thing on the opposite side, taking that section, bringing it over to me and cutting it at a guideline. So we create a different guide on each side um, and then we go through over directing everything over. What this is doing is building up the heaviest point in the very center of the cut. So you'll see, you can actually kind of see that V forming in the very front of the haircut. That's because we pushed all that weight to the center and that's what makes this cut and this technique so unique. Now we're gonna use our Bricado. This is the Cloud9 Blowout Serum. I really love this product, it's nice and light. So I just wanna really smooth out the hair, have a little bit of hold to it, give that shine, and then we'll go in with the texture product at the end. So just blow drying, giving a little bit of lift. You can see I'm using a vent brush instead of a paddle brush. This one I want to have a little bit of volume in the top. So allowing that air to kind of get under the brush. Um, a lot of people use the same brush for everything. You wanna make sure that your brush goes with your technique. So right now I want to not put as much tension on the hair, go through nice and light, build in that volume. And now I'm using the Vibra Straight Iron, which vibrates as it irons, which is such a cool uh, feature because it allows less damage on the hair, helps kind of separate the hair as it vibrates over it. So you're getting it smoother, faster. Uh, it's just a really cool iron. I uh, love using that tool. So just smoothing out the very front, you'll, you'll notice I'm not really, I didn't have to run the iron over everything. I smoothed it with the brush and then I just polish out that front fringe area. And now the finishing touch is our Carve. Uh, this is Bricado Texture Icing. So it's just a real texture cream. And I put that throughout the hair, uh, brush it into the hair a little bit and just really uh, show off all that texture that we created with the razor and the precision feel to the bottom. Hope you guys like this cut definitely. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I enjoy you guys sticking with it throughout the entire video.